Have a great day, mga ka people of God. Welcome to my channel, Sir Anton Channel Info. So subscribe now and click all the notification bell para ma-update ka sa aking mga bagong videos. More videos to come. And then number seven steps to become a doctor here in the Philippines. Yes! Provide medical school. This is the battleground. Ito na. Dito ka na ngayon. No? Sa laban ng ito. Struggle. Difficulties. A series of problems. Pains and suffering. Sabi nga sa food eh. No, 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 no pain. No, 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 no. no gain. Yan ka nga. Okay? Kapag ikaw ay nandito na sa medical school, talagang survival ito. Marabang survival of the babies. Okay? So, yung the first three years are filled with academic instructions delivered through a combination of laboratory work and lectures. So, ito po yung first three years. Huh? Yan. So, dito, pag-aaralan na ninyo no, no, yung mga natawag na sa biochemistry, basic sciences, preventive medicine, community health, human anatomy and physiology, psychiatry, yeah. medical practice. So, ito po yung uh, tinatawag na sa so, uh, freshmen. No? Kapag uh, second year students ka na, ito, pag-aaralan nyo na rito yung mga basic concepts of uh, pharmacology, microbiology, and parasitology, pathology, medicine and surgery, medical economics, and psychiatry too. So, ito yun sa mga most medical schools in the Philippines. No? Ito, ito yung mga pinag-aralan talaga. No? Yung mga sophomore year. Yung tawagin. And then, kapag ito yung nasa third year na, medical students will immerse themselves in disease management, learning more about the pathophysiology yung mga pag-aaralan kapag ikaw ay nasa third year na. Diagnosis and clinical management of common as well as rare medical conditions. So, pera na pera pang pag-aaral pala dito. And then, at the end of the second or third year, before your transition to the internship, medical students usually must overcome one final hurdle in the form of a thesis. Yan. Pusulat na kayo ngayon. Ang dissertation. Practical exam, no? Or an independent research project. Ito, talagang sunodan ng kila ito. Ito, talagang puyat kaya rito. Walang tulad. Ito, dissertation na ito, yan. Independent no. research project na ito. While the fourth year is your year as a junior intern. Yan. Yung pang ikaapat mong taon. This phase is also known as clinical clerkship during which will be rotated in different hospital departments. Yan. So, ito po yung pang four year mo, no? For junior inter. So, again. Yan. So, dito ay talagang expect to spend anywhere between several weeks, sabi nga rito, no? to two months in various fields like surgery, obstetrics, gynecology, pediatrics, general medicine, and various some specialties. Po, no? Of course, with the supervision of a faculty, yung naman in charge doon, ito sa junior internship ninyo. Huh? And then, they will evaluate your performance after each hospital duty. And then, after four years in medical school, you will finally graduate and earn the Doctor of Medicine Diploma. Congratulations! Ito ngayon yes. na ang graduate na ng Doctor of Medicine with a diploma. Yan. Yeah. So, once you graduate, you will then transition to a postgraduate internship. So, ito na po yung next uh, step, no? Kung uh, after mo ng four years in medical school, no? after engaging the diploma, no? in postgraduate internship. Ano naman ito? Sabi rito, this is the last phase of your training. We will work alongside residents and other members of the healthcare team. Ito po yung tawag na postgraduate internship. Yes! Residents and other members of the healthcare team. Tulad dati, no, you will remain under the supervision 
of a faculty member known as the attending physician. Itong graduate internship na ito ay allows you to train more intensively in different specialty uh, like uh, rheumatology, urology, gynecology, pediatrics, obstetrics, etc. Ito po yung tatawag ng critical period itong mga different sub-specialties. Critical period in a sense, uh, medical educations, no? you won't be allowed to take the lecture examination and practice your profession if you fail to complete the required hours of internship. So, nakakalaga pala nito. No? So, hindi ko makakuha ng uh, licensure examination no? uh, for physician kapag hindi mo natapos itong itong required hours of internship, no? itong postgraduate internship. Hindi pala ang proseso nito, napakahirap din pala ng pagdudoktor. Number 8 steps to become a doctor in the Philippines. Pass the physician licensure examination. So, a graduate of a doctor medicine program can't work without a license to practice. Parang katulad yan ng uh, isang driver. Cannot drive? A vehicle without a license. Okay? Now, para ikaw ay makakuha ng license, eh, kailangan maipasa mo itong uh, physician licensure yeah. examination. Given twice a year. Usually, ito ay March and uh, September. So, itong exam na ito ay, uh, of course, administered by the Board of Medicine under the supervision of the PRC. Professional Regulation Commission. Yan. So, dapat ay uh, maipasa mo ito dahil eh, ito yung napakahalaga. So, kapag kayo naging uh, licensed doctor na, well, lifetime na ito. So, to pass the exam, you must have a board exam average rating of at least 75% yeah. with no grade lower than 50% in any subject. There you have it. Yes! Number nine steps to become a doctor in the Philippines. Undergo a medical residency training. So after uh, the licenses, they're getting their licenses, no? Remain sa mga doctors in the Philippines, I, uh, I of course, no? I opt to go through a residency training program to further their career. So, meron ulit panibagong itong katawag na residency training. So, ano ba ito? Kasi dito, once na naipasa na nila no, itong uh, board exam na ito ng mga physician, once accepted, medical residents may spend 3 to 6 years working in the hospital depending on their chosen field of specialization. Sabihin, may nagpa-pray ito mga further studies. Ano? Kaya nga, uh, kaya tawag ito ay yung... Uh, Residency training. So, meron dito mga common fields of specialization no? para sa kanilang further studies. Ito ay number of years to spend in residency training. Halimbawa, no? yung anesthesia, uh, dermatology, ER medicine, ENT, family medicine. Yan. Uh, ito yung mga tatap na uh, residency, residency training habang sila ay and nag-aaral din of course no? so depende kung ilang yes! ilang uh, taon ito ha kasi ito ay specialization din eh internal medicine obstetrics and gynecology ophthalmology etc okay, so ito po yung tinatawag na another residency training to undergo number 10 steps to become a doctor in the Philippines get into fellowship training. O ano naman ito? Kasi doon sa nine steps, no? Nag-undergo ka ng uh, residency training. Once you pass the exam, you can work with a guaranteed higher salary or proceed to fellowship for your sub-specialization. So, ito ay another father studs ulit ito. Ito yung na tawag nila rito ay, uh, ay fellowship. Bakit? Kasi Ito yung tinatawag na there are two choices, no? Para doktor. Either magtrabaho siya o kaya naman start earning money or spend a few more years to pursue a sub-specialty. Ito nga yung tinatawag na fellowship. Mga ilang taon ulit itong aral na ito. 
Now for your chosen sub-specialty, you will spend another two to four years of training and working in the hospital. Uh, oncology, for example, requires three years of residency in internal medicine and another three years of fellowship training before you can become an oncologist. So, ganun pala ito, pagka ikaw ay mag-specialize, no? Ano mang gusto mo. Uh, halimbawa, yung uh, mga sub-special ng uh, internal medicine, tutulad ng cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, geriatric medicine, yan, ito po yung mga sub-specialties, no? So, marami pa po, okay? So, ito yung tinatawag na fellowship nila. It's another studies ulit. Ayan. Tulad ng oncology and hematology, infectious diseases, nephrology, pulmonary diseases, uh, rheumatology. So, ito yung yun. Ano? Then, kapag ka natapos sa na po nila itong, uh, itong uh, fellowship na ito, kung tawagin, eh, of course, meron na silang uh, certification. Para sila yung mga pagtrabaho as specialist. At dito rin, ito rin yung mga stepping stone, no? Para ma makapagtrabaho sa mga government agencies, no? Katulad ng uh, DOH, no? Yan, dito po, kapag ka ikaw ay specialist na, no? So, pwede ka na uh, mag-apply sa mga na administrative position, katulad sa Department of Health and other similar government agencies, no? Ito po yan, So, number 10, ito nga yung katawag na fellowship. So, there are with mga ka-people of God. So, we are now finished with the 10 steps now to become a doctor here in the Philippines. I hope you enjoy and, uh, and uh, you have learned uh, about this info now to become a doctor. At umaasa kami, especially sa mga kabataan, here today, someday, you deserve to become a doctor. Sana sa inyo ay magkaroon ng uh, course with the generosity of your heart. Magkaroon ng uh, malasakit, especially sa kapwa natin ngayon. Lalo na ngayon pandemya ito, kailangan-kailangan natin ng mga, mga doktor na yun. So, Bilang po tayo sa doktor na yun, of course. So, maasa kami na, and of course, we pray the youth of today uh, to discern this uh, His profession. It's not only a profession, but of course, it's a mission. Bakit po? Yes! Because you are saving lives. The lives of the people, especially in these pandemic times. Kailangan natin ng mga yeah. matatapang, malalakas ang loob. The new heroes of today. And I, uh, meron pa rin mga uh, uh, kabataan patuloy sa larangin ito sa pagiging doktor. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in my next videos.